Hi, I'm Josh from Twisted Throttle, and we are installing the SW Motec skid plate on the new Yamaha T7. If you're new here, check out our website at the link below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great motorcycle content. The Yamaha T7 comes standard with a small skid plate, but on an adventure bike that will be hitting harder terrain, we wanted to make sure the underside of the motorcycle was completely protected. That's why we opted for the SW Motec skid plate, which offers a larger surface area to protect the underside of the engine and exhaust headers. This 4mm thick aluminum skid plate is a bolt-on product requiring no drilling, cutting, or modifications of any kind. The ventilated design allows maximum airflow over the engine to prevent overheating. First, remove the bolts holding the OEM skid plate on. Attach the front and middle mounting brackets, but do not tighten them completely yet. Attach the rear mounting brackets, but do not tighten them completely yet. Attach the skid plate to the mounting brackets, but do not tighten them completely. Once all the parts are evenly positioned without tension, tighten the bolts in this order. Using openings in the skid plate, tighten the bolts holding the front, then middle, and finally the rear brackets in place. Use the torque spec recommended in the manual. Then tighten all remaining bolts. As always, be sure to use liquid thread locker on all bolts when installing. Loctite 243 works perfectly here. It's as simple as that. The skid plate works in conjunction with the SW Motec crash bars just fine and neither is required to mount the other. The skid plate also works just fine if installing the SW Motec center stand, which is also a useful upgrade for this bike. You can find the SW Motec skid plate and other accessories for the T7 by visiting twistedthrottle.com. Until next time, ride safe.